New shared space in Phoenix, making a home for artists and musicians to cultivate their craft. The space actually blooming out of the pandemic when many creatives were forced to pause or reinvent themselves altogether. Team 12's Jen Wall joining us live this morning from Brightside Studios. Jen, tell us, how is the studio giving artists and musicians a new home today? Yeah, good morning to you guys. This is an incredible space for artists, painters to come in and create and leave their home at home. You can see there's all kinds of supplies here. And on top of that, the public, those of us that maybe aren't as creative, we can come in, enjoy their work, some nice music, have a drink, whether that's caffeine or maybe a glass of wine or beer. Joining me live now is Brad Ken, your owner here. So how did you come up with this idea and how does it work for artists? artists here in the valley. Yeah, well, first of all, thanks for coming. Um, my wife and I, Vanessa, um, we, we wanted to create a hangout spot for local creatives. It felt like something was missing here in Phoenix for the artists that we have. Um, so we wanted something that was open, that felt like something that was theirs, uh, that focused on traditional painters, but also musicians. So what we have is something more like an art gym where you can spend a day, a month, or a year with us. Everything's included so that you can create your next masterpiece. That is so cool. I like how you say that, an art gym. So it's also a membership aspect, but the public can come in, enjoy, you have events, Tell us about that too. Yeah, so on Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights, we host local musicians. So it's your best local talent that you can find in our lounge. Um, but we also have paint classes. So your favorite paint and sip classes, which make for great uh, date nights or unique night out with friends. Uh, they're beginner style paint classes, um, and they're uh, a lot of fun on those evening nights. Awesome. Thank you so much, Brad. I like that. Beginner style paint classes right up my alley. Well, we want to introduce you to one of the artists here now. She has some incredible work coming right here to the studio. So Lambda Maria, thank you so much for being here. Where would you be if you didn't have this place to create your stunning art, which is actually right here on this wall? Um, well, I probably would be in a teeny tiny corner of my apartment. We just had a new baby and everything gets pushed aside for the baby. So having this space means everything. Um, it just gives me the freedom to work on huge pieces like that one is my biggest one that I've done yet. And um, otherwise, I really wouldn't have anywhere to do it. Oh, that is just incredible. And tell us a little bit about your art. What is the motivation behind all of it? Um, so a lot of it is inspired by fantasy and mythology. Um, a lot of it is about empowering people who don't generally have a voice and um, giving just kind of representation to a lot of different cultures. I like to say I paint people of culture and I love like Celtic mythology and Greek mythology and the African tribal culture. So I just try to infuse that into everything. All right, Lambda, thank you so much for joining us live this morning. We appreciate it. Coming up live in the next hour, I'm gonna dip my hands into a painting class here. I wish I had talent like this, unfortunately I don't. So we're gonna show you another aspect of Brightside Studios when folks can just come in and enjoy a nice Friday, Saturday night out.